Stretch here, coming to you from my office. I think you guys are probably starting to feel pretty at home here in this purple room with me. So, a few weeks ago, I sent you a message about the only three things you need to know to achieve any goal. The only three things. You need to know exactly what you want, you need to have the right tools and know how to use them, and you need to take action. Well, I realized something just within the last couple of days. You probably have heard the phrase, you have not, because you ask not. And many of you maybe have been raised on that phrase, just like I have been raised. My mom's taught me my whole life. You don't have something because you don't ask for something, and you'll get what you ask for, so ask. Well, I realized that the three keys to you achieving any goal, health goal, weight loss goal, fitness goal, money goal, career goal, business goal, relationship goal, whatever the goal, any goal you have for 2012, there are three simple steps, and the bottom line is great news. You have not because you ask not. Ask stands very simply for A, affirmative specifics. Affirmative specifics are simply describing exactly and specifically what it is you want. So not to lose some weight, but how much weight and why. What are you going to do when you're at that weight loss goal? And not to make more money, but exactly how much money do you want to make in 2012? Because I'm confident enough to tell you, you will make it when you participate in the knowledge we have to share. So affirmative specifics, very affirmatively, and present day, I make $100,000, I weigh 112 pounds, whatever the case might be. Remember, SMART goals go with affirmative specifics. S stands for specific, as specific as you can be about the goal and what surrounds the goal. M stands for measurable. It needs to be something you can measurable, not some, not more, not better, but measurable, a number. A stands for attainable. Has it been done? Is it attainable? Has someone done this goal that you want to achieve? R is realistic for you, real for you. Somebody may say, I want to make $100,000, and they've been to a seminar where the guy stands on the chair and goes, woo, and you're totally motivated, and then you leave, and you're not motivated anymore. Well, if you make $10,000 a year, and you say you want to make $100,000, and all you've got is that popcorn motivation, it might not be realistic for you. But if you have this amazing money-making opportunity in front of you, maybe it is realistic. So is it realistic for you? And T is time sensitive. It's got to have a date on it. So those are the things that make up affirmative specifics. Ask yourself the question about any goal you've set. Do you have the affirmative specifics? Have you really defined out the specifics of that goal? Step number two is very simply skills and tools. That's the S in ask. Do you know how to get this done? Do you know what tools to use? I'll tell you, that's always been the case with me. This is where I've fallen short when I haven't achieved a goal. It's not that I don't have the affirmative specific or I don't have the confidence. I do. But I'll step back and go, why am I not achieving the goal? Very simple, because I don't know how. I've not looked at how to get the job done. What do I need to learn? What tools do I need to use? And if you don't know what you don't know, go to somebody who is achieving the goal that you want to achieve and simply look at what they know how to do and start learning how to do that. Lastly, the K stands for kindred action. Kindred means related, related action to this goal right here, related action to these skills and tools. We all leave an event or training or an online schooling or whatever the case might be, this video. We leave this video and we go take some action, some kind of action. Might be to sit on the couch and change channels. Might be to pay bills for the day. Might be to go hang out with somebody who you love. Is it a kindred action? When you set the goal specifically, you know what skills and tools you need, and you take a related action toward this, you will achieve the goal, no matter what the goal is. So now, very simply, I have one question for you. Looking at A-S-K, think about any goal you've had, and ask yourself, where did I maybe fall short? Did I set a very affirmative specific? If I did, did I know what skills and tools I needed to get? Did I get them? And if I did, did I take the kindred action? Did I take the related action I needed to take to get there? Because my friend, it's very simply, when you ask, you get. In 2012, your goals are surely to be achieved. No babies, I've lived it. So what do you need to do now? Take a kindred action. You're going to achieve the goals you want to achieve in 2012 when you click on that link right there and come share time with us at Power to Prosper, the world's greatest goals workshop. We'll teach you more of this and we'll teach you lots and lots and lots of skills and tools to get you where you want to go. I'll see you at Power to Prosper.